Yo, what is up everybody? Today I'm going to be doing a tour of all the stuff that, and all the gear that I use to make my YouTube videos on a day-to-day -day basis. So, let's get into it. Before the video starts, I just want to say that I apologize um, if I stuttered or tripped over my words because I do have a speech impediment. So, if you have any questions as to what I said or what the product names that I've said in this video. First thing I want to start off with is, is the lights. I bought two of these box lights off of Amazon for like uh, $60 for both of them. And then... These are the lights that you've seen in the mic just a minute ago, and they light my pa my face perfectly, and they're really good lights. But I have to warn you that they uh, are extremely unbalanced, and they do fall off. So if you prop them up against something, this should be fine. And these things, uh, one more note that these things are not durable. As right here, as you can see, that the socket is in the metal piece. The screw is inside the socket because. The, uh, the threads wore out really fast and really easily, so just be one we buy these products. If the, if you're using these for like expecting to get good durability out of them, I would, I would look somewhere else because these things are not the things for you. But if you're using these for studio and they you're not gonna um, close, uh, you're not gonna be taking them down much. These are the, probably the best options that you can get for under sixty bucks. And same thing with this one too. Except this one, the dumb version has a uh, decent thread system, so uh, I haven't lost any thread. Well, I haven't gone through any threads yet, so. And the second thing I use is, well, obviously going to be the tripod. And as you can see, I have my headphones, but we'll get that, we'll get to that in a minute. I use, I bought this tripod from uh, Walmart for like 20 bucks. And so far, it's doing me good. It doesn't have a uh, really, um large capacity um, limit on it so I only use my Canon T5i with a road and a battery pack so it's not really that heavy and so this is the guy that you see when I'm shooting sure videos this is the guy that I use a lot let me just turn the auto focus there we go that's better these headphones I want to talk about they're actually the Studio CB1s and they're actually really amazing well, let me just flip that out I did not have a Headphone stand, because as you can see, I don't have a lot of room on my desk. But this, these guys are amazing, and these co these cost me about eighty dollars. Um, I think I got them from Amazon. Oh no, I bought these from. And these things are really good. They come they come with two cables, a coil cable, and a as you can see a regular, regular cable for the monitor that I use. As you can tell, it's my first time doing, well. Uh, I've actually done several takes of this, but this is my first time like ever gonna post it on YouTube, um, review or slash tour, whatever you wanna call it. And for the monitor that I use, I use a Dell 27 inch 1080p monitor. Um, I forget the model is, but it's, uh, it's got a 60 hertz refresh rate and um, it's got pretty accurate colors to me, which, which is probably one of the one of the most important uh, features to me when I'm doing photo or video editing. Is it has to have decent colors, halfway decent colors. This thing cost me uh, like 120 bucks. So yeah, everything in this list is pretty much budget friendly, unless you know you can't you don't have 100 bucks. And so the thing, this thing is actually really good unless you're doing you know 4K at work. I want you know. Obviously, I would, I would um, upgrade to something that has a, a better refresh rate, or I mean, and a uh, you know a higher resolution, higher uh, resolution like a 4K, uh, 144 hertz. And this is my pride and joy, you know, a 50 millimeter. You know, this thing is not a Canon 50 millimeter, even though. Um, even even though Canon has one just like this is a uh, 50 millimeter, I, I, a lot of people, a lot of people buy that version instead. But I bought this one because this one that cost me about 60 dollars or 50 bucks, and the Canon's version costs about 120. You gotta keep on the uh, gotta keep down those negative ions. I use a salt lamp, and they're really really good. Plus, it looks really good on video, so that's uh, part of the reason why I kept them. I keep on my desk. Okay. 
Sorry about that, my little cable mess. That's where I store all my junk that I don't use. Hold on. Right here is the HP something, something, something. It's got Ryzen, Ryzen 5 2400G, 8 gigs of RAM, 1 terabyte of HDD storage. And so those are all the, pretty much the um, only specs that I need from a computer. And uh, this thing costed me only about $400. So yeah, it's pretty good for $400. And as you can see, I can handle video editing, light video editing, 1080p, and that's what I pretty much use it for. It's only 1080p editing and some light photo editing to create my thumbnails for YouTube. I use the Williams Allegro 2. This thing cost me about $249 at Guitar Center, and this thing's been pretty good. The, uh, I don't use it for the sound quality, the sound from the speakers, because uh, let's be honest, I can't get really get good um, piano audio sound from a $249 piano but I the most important thing to me is that I had a that I had to have a sustain pedal and a meta output so I can connect it to my computer and I use sound fonts from there to make it so when I'm playing it has virtually no latency so um, so that's why I use instead of using the speakers I use the sound fonts because like I said it has virtually no latency so when I press a note it sounds like the sound font which the sound font I use a full grand piano, so you can imagine it sounds really good. And so, um, and the keyboard that I use is an opera brand name. This thing costs around thirty or twenty dollars, something like that, on Amazon. So yeah, like I said, everything here is pretty much budget friendly. And so if you want to check these, if you want to go check these things out on Amazon or wherever I bought them from, the, the links will be in it, in uh, down below, below this video. And so, thank you guys for watching, and see you in the next video. Goodbye.